All right, so as previously mentioned, AWS usually uses AWS Signature version 4 or AWS 4 Signature for most of its REST requests, HTTP requests. Uh, usually you can do this manually, and by manually I mean you just create the signature yourself and attach it as a header of some sort. Uh, I did that in the last video. There's a web page example as well as a text example. Uh, you can also rely on AWS 4 Signature when using... Um, any REST operations provided by uh, AWS, you know, say you're using the Lambda API and you're using some function on it, it will automatically take your AWS credentials and create the signature for you and then communicate uh, to the server properly. Uh, the only thing that's kind of annoying uh, from a beginner standpoint is when you want to send a very basic uh, HTTP request, say you want to just do a basic GET message, GET a uh, basic post message, something that's just a basic HTTP request, uh, it's kind of hard to do that bare bones request without piggybacking on some other API service. Um, that is unless you find the gift of God, AWS Labs, AWS Request Signing Apache Interceptor. This is a pretty straightforward tool. You use this alongside AWS provided AWS for signer. This is provided by AWS Labs. Um, so it's coming from them directly the only problem is that you can't get it through maven at the moment i don't know why they made this tool and it's really helpful but it's just not on maven so you're gonna have to find some workarounds if you want to use this in your palm uh for me if it's just an sdk type of thing like this and you just want to use it for running things then you can indeed um download it uh create the jar and use it as a dependency but as you can see here it has a little bit of a snippet you make the request interceptor you give it the service name, say it's Elasticsearch, service name is ES, signer, that's the object with the information, the region, and the service name, and then credentials provider, and credentials provider, this is just your AWS credentials, uh, which I'll show you a, a, a basic example that will just get your credentials from AWS uh, folder on your PC. Um, and that's pretty much it. it it's, it's very straightforward, and it, it saves a lot of time and hassle. Um, as you can see here, if you want to use this as a dependency, you should clone or download this. Just download this to some directory. I already downloaded it. Um, and as you can see here, just get it, unzip it, and once you unzip it, what you're going to do is in the source directory, just build it. This may sound, you know, like common sense, but just in case you don't know, build it, Maven clean install. Go ahead and Maven clean install this. Uh, if for some reason you don't have Maven installed, I recommend you do that. It's pretty straightforward. It's nothing crazy. Um, so Maven clean install. It'll run through the test. Might take a little bit longer for you, but you know, first time around. Uh, Maven clean install. You go to the target directory, and in the target directory, you will have the um, jar that you can use as a dependency. Now, when using this as a dependency um, for Eclipse, if you're using that IDE, it may be a little different for IntelliJ, which is something that I use. It is pretty straightforward in adding a jar as a dependency. All you have to do is go to module settings on the bottom here, open module settings. And from here, as you can see, these are all the different um, dependencies. As you can see, the dependencies pad uh, tab, pardon me. Uh, and all you got to do is you can click this plus button on the side here. And it says jars or directories, libraries, modules, dependency. We're going to click jars or directories. Um, and the directory for this, for now, I guess I'll just use this. We'll use that. Target. And then after target, we'll put the actual... Oh, cool. It actually takes us there. Cool. Um, so target. Da -da 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 -da. AWS request signing Apache Intercept 1.0 snapshot jar. Go ahead and grab the jar as a dependency. OK. And as you can see here on the bottom, it's actually added as a dependency. So go ahead and click Apply. Go ahead and click OK. And now you actually have it, and you can use it and reference it in your class um, to create your basic, very basic HTTP client. Um, as you can see here, it's a very simple example. You have something that is going to be using three things AWS for signer which is something they provide it's a very basic setup the AWS request signing Apache interceptor and then last but not least the good old tried and true HTTP client builder from Apache um, if for some reason you know if you're using Maven like I said and using IntelliJ it's just you know you could write this down into your IDE and get it or if you want you could Google it 
Um, it's very simple. It's literally three things. The request signing interceptor, AWS, Java SDK, and then it is pretty much just org, Apache, HTTP components. Uh, pretty straightforward. So the idea is to basically do whatever you want to do, define whatever you want to define, and then you create the HTTP, HTTP client builder. This is going to be pretty much the item you're going to use to facilitate your HTTP responses or messages and responses. And you just take AWS's AWS for signer, create a new AWS source signer, signer.set service name, signer.set region name, ES, US East 1, and uh, AWS request signing at Apache Interceptor. All you got to do is just a new object and you put the service name, you put the signer that you created right here, and then you put new default AWS credentials provider chain. This will literally just look at your environment bars, look at your AWS file, find your credentials and create the object for you. So there's your credentials. And now with that being done, you can do builder that add interceptor last request interceptor. And now this will be able to communicate with AWS properly um, and very seamlessly. And all you got to do right here, try, try catch block and do whatever you want to do. If you want to do a put operation, go ahead and do a put operation. If you want to go ahead and do a, you know, a post, if you want to do a get, it's very straightforward. If you don't know how to use it's HTTP, um, get and post in this context of using Apache, it's very straightforward. It's very simple. Just pretty much use HTTP post, HTTP get, HTTP put, um, along with your object information, um, set the entity as whatever you're going to post. And because you did these above steps, as simple as it is here, uh, you will be able to communicate with AWS and not run into a uh, 403 error of being forbidden from communicating with the server. So, you know, this is very simple, very, very straightforward. But for me personally, it was kind of hard to find this information because it wasn't very readily available. I don't know why it's not. I guess this is relatively new when you think about it because, as you can see here on AWS, um, I don't know when this was created. It looks like a year ago is when it was modified. Um, I don't know when it was created exactly, but it seems like, I mean, the issue is from like what, May of 2018. So I can only surmise that this was created in the beginning of 2018. Uh, this is a really good tool. There's also another one you could use out there, but I, I prefer this one. Uh, the other one, if you Google it, I think it's by Interceptor Labs or something like that. But by far, this is by AWS Labs. This is the most simple. And hopefully they add this to Maven in the future. That way it becomes even more simple. Uh, but like I said, this is a very simple tool for using simple HTTP requests and gives you a lot of uh, leeway and flexibility in terms of producing your own HTTP uh, messages and gives you a lot of freedom to do that. And it's very easy, very simple.